Today we will change the volume functionality so that we can go in any direction we are looking when we are on the wall. And we will also update the wall function or the wall climbing function so that we can climb only the walls that are tagged and not all the walls. Let's get started. In the first person project, let's open the character blueprint. Now here we want to make a change in the wall trace function so that we do not uh, just climb all the walls. Here we want to limit the climbing only to specific walls that are tagged. First, let's break this out at result. And if the hit actor has tag, what will be the tag? Let's say the tag will be vault. There should be no spaces. It should be exactly like this. And we need an end boolean. So let's get an end boolean. This will be the second one. First one will be this one. So let's get this. This will go in the first. Now we need a branch. So to get a branch, let's press B and click. And first let's check if we hit anything. And if we did not hit anything, then we will return. Add return load. So if we did not hit anything, we will return as usual. So connect the return value to hit boolean and out hit result to out hit result. Also, let's connect the branch. And if we hit something, if we hit something, we will check whether we also have a tag and then connect the return value to an AND pin. So that way we can know that we actually hit something and the actor also has a tag. And then we will connect it to hit boolean. Okay. So this line automatically gets disconnected when we connect the new one. This is how it looks right now. Now let's try if we are able to climb everything. So first let's select this and here we will look for tags. In the actor tags we will add our tag. The tag will be vault. Exactly like we typed it. Now you can also do this in a blueprint like we did for the wall run here the the wall that we can run on uh, like this one has a wall run tag for example and uh, we did this in the details panel of the actor itself in the blueprint okay but for now to keep it simple i'm just doing it here let's play now if, if i try to climb here i cannot the line trace does happen, but because it does not have a tag, I cannot climb here. Okay. Now, what if I try here? So, we're able to climb as usual. So, here we are limiting our climbing or vaulting to specific actors that have tags. Let's go back here. This is how it looks like. Let's see it again. So we added a new return node and if we do not hit anything, if this our return value is false, then we return as usual. But if we did hit something, so if this condition is true, then we also check whether the actor that we hit had a tag of vault. And we also connect the return value to this AND node. And if both of these conditions are true, then we will be able to vault. Else, if it is false, then we just uh, won't climb or vault there. Now, there's one more change that I would like to do in the wall run ability. So, let's go to our wall run ability. So, here I want to make a change such that such that we can go in any direction on the wall so if we are looking upwards we will just go upwards if we are looking downwards we will go downwards if we in the midway if we change and look back then we will go 
in that direction okay so to make that change first we need to disconnect this set plane constraint normal node because we do not want our movement to be constrained to this plane right now so we will just disconnect it we can hold alt on our keyboard and click to disconnect let's get this down a bit and connect as usual now i want to create a new function here so let's create a new function i will call it adjust player direction so when we adjust player direction here let's go back to the viewport let's see what we need to do so we have this vector actually we have this vector and uh, a normal vector or a unit vector along this direction can actually define this plane and it can help us get a projection of our forward direction of the camera so forward direction of the camera where we're looking we can use this vector to actually define a plane and then get a projection of our forward direction of our camera on this plane and then we can get a unit vector along that and move there if you don't understand it don't worry let's just uh, try to implement it and see if it works so let's get our wall variable under wall run let's get the wall variable that we have and then i want to cast so cast to wall cast to bp wall for running or whatever is the name of your wall running blueprint and then we can get a variable from that and what we need is arrow right because that is what we named that arrow that i just showed you so we will get arrow right and then we will get forward vector so this is a unit vector along the direction of the arrow now there is a very useful node in unreal engine of doing what i told you about and that is uh, project vector onto plane now here this needs a plane normal which is this let's uh, connect it and this will be a unit vector okay this will be a unit vector normalized vector and then we need to get our first person camera get forward vector of that that is the vector that we want to project and in my case uh, actually the forward vector is also a unit vector let's connect it now we need to normalize the result we need to get a unit vector along this direction so let's just make use of the normalize node And then we also need to check the vector length. So we will compare it with zero. It has to be something at least. It has to be greater than zero, right? Then we can connect it to a branch. So hold B on our keyboard and get a branch. Connect the conditions and also connect the branch. And if all that works, then we can set the player direction. To the result of the normalized node now we need to call this function somewhere let's see where we need to call it let's go back to the event graph and we need to call it in our timeline before we set the velocity using the player direction before we do this we need to call that function so we can just drag from here and look for our function name that is adjust player direction and it automatically connects let's compile and save now let's go to the viewport and see if it works so if i look there yeah it kind of works but it's too fast i think i need to scale the wall so let's do that click it r on the keyboard resize it okay and let's make it big w to move let's see if we can go all the way up 
So I'm just going to look up and then down, up, down. Wow, this works. So yeah, that is how we can go where the camera is looking when we are on a wall. We can go all the way up and then we can look down and go down. Then we have to go up, down. This is fun. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Also, I have a Patreon that you can go to and download the project files for this project. And also support me on Patreon. Your support will help me in creating more amazing tutorials for you. I will see you in the next video.